Happy Bus! Crime lies hidden in the puzzle, and the truth emerges through reasoning. Detective stories of Inspector Chip. Crisis at the Amusement Park 4. Uh, what? At Inspector Chimp's words, Gigi's jaw dropped. What's this nonsense? Inspector Chimp, it's me, Gigi, the detective, the great detective. Still pretending? Inspector Chimp pointed at his badge, then at Gigi. I say in the name of justice that the culprit is you, Franz Barrington. I've known for a while that it was you, pretending to be GG Gopher and following me around. Uh, what? There were three giveaways. The first was here. Inspector Chimp pointed at GG's shoulder. Do you remember when I tapped you on the shoulder when I encountered the ghoul? That was when I felt your mechanical skeleton. Also, you're a gopher, but you're scared of the dark? <laughs> now how could a gopher be scared of the dark? Gophers live underground where they're always in the dark. Inspector Chimp waved his hand and pointed it at Gigi's frightened face. When your notebook fell, I saw that you enlisted my weaknesses. There's only one being who is so interested in studying me that closely. And that's you, Franz Barrington. Oh. Oh. Gigi let out a strange <laughs> laugh as he reached up and swept his hand across his face, revealing his true identity, Franz Barrington. Not bad, Inspector Chimp. Brilliant deduction. And your disguise is very good. It almost fooled me. Sparks erupted as Inspector Chimp and Franz Barrington glared at each other. Hey, can you two stop talking and come help me? Oops. <laughs> I was so busy explaining my reasoning, I forgot about Rolly. Two Franz zombies had opened the cage where Rolly was and were taking turns lunging at him. <laughs> Charlie, old boy. Even though you've uncovered my true identity, it's no use. Franz Zombie Army, take we little Rolo away. My duel with Inspector Chuck isn't over yet. Franz Barrington puffed out his chest, raised his chin, and issued orders. He was surprised when he got no response from the mechanical zombies. Huh? What's going on? Hey, you dummies, get moving! You have orders! The mechanical Franz zombie bears turned their heads and stared at Franz Barrington. What? What's going on here? What's happened here? Oh, the zombies no, turned no, and no, swarmed no, no, Franz no, no, Barrington. No, no, no. Uh, help! <laughs> As Franz Barrington and his mechanical Franz zombie army ran away, Inspector Chimp rushed to rescue Raleigh. Let's get out of here while those zombie bears are chasing Franz Barrington. Inspector Chimp and Raleigh had taken no more than two steps when they heard a familiar voice ahead of them. <laughs> help! Help! It was Franz Barrington running back toward them with a line of zombies trailing him. No! Don't come any closer! Oh, stay away from us! Inspector Chimp and Raleigh ran wildly ahead with Franz Barrington and a bunch of zombies following them. Hey! Chuck! If you don't save me, I'll take all these zombies outside! Who knows what will happen to all the little animals in the city, Ben? You're despicable! And don't call me Chuck! Inspector Chimp let his brain spin wildly as he ran. Hmm. What can we do? We can't let this Franz zombie army out. It would be best if we just destroy the whole haunted house with them in it. <sighs> oh, 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 it hurts. At the worst possible moment, Raleigh fell. Inspector Chimp picked him up and carried him as they continued running from the mechanical zombies. <sighs> you okay, Rolly? Huh? What's this green powder on your feet? Uh, huh. I, I tripped over a bag. That's why I fell. A bag? What kind of bag? That one over there. It says matcha powder on it. <laughs> matcha powder? A bold idea came to Inspector Chimp's mind. He set Raleigh down. <laughs> Hurry! Inspector Chimp! Why aren't you running? Franz, I have a way to get rid of all these zombie bears with one blow. <laughs> what? How? You run these zombies through the haunted house and help us stall for time. Raleigh and I... 
will sprinkle matcha powder all over the haunted house. <laughs> matcha powder? Don't be ridiculous! What's the use of that? My zombies like to drink soda, not matcha! Franz was about to say more, but when he saw the determination in Inspector Chimp's eyes, he was convinced. Okay! Okay, I'll do it! Hey, zombies! You can't catch me! You Franz Barrington picked up me. speed, luring the Franz zombie army away from Raleigh and Inspector Chimp. Inspector Chimp picked up two bags of matcha powder and handed them to Raleigh. <laughs> Come on, Raleigh. Let's get moving. Yes, sir! They opened bag after bag of matcha powder and sprinkled it all over the haunted house. Ooh, now what, Inspector Chimp? Now we get out of here. Inspector Chimp and Raleigh ran wildly until they finally reached the exit of the haunted house. It was nighttime now, and there were no animals around. Inspector Chimp! I don't think I can run anymore! Franz Barrington ran out with the zombie bears close behind. Franz, listen to me! On the count of three, you jump! One, two, three! Just as Franz jumped, Inspector Chimp threw a rock at the haunted house. A little spark of electricity flickered out of the darkness. Then, there was a huge explosion, and the whole haunted house and all the zombies inside were blown to the sky. Raleigh looked on in awe. Whoa, what just happened? Inspector Chimp took off his cap and sighed in relief. <sighs> Luckily it worked. That was a dust explosion. A dust explosion? What's that? You remember that matcha powder we sprinkled in the haunted house? Once there was enough powder in the air, all it took was just a little fire to trigger an explosion. I was able to make use of that to get rid of all the Franz zombie bears in one go. Uh, where is Franz now? Inspector Chimp looked left and right, but there was no sign of Franz Barrington anywhere. There was only a note that had been left on the ground. I'll be off now! See you later, Charlie, my boy! Wah!